Under the silent canopy of space, there are mysteries that defy reason, events that seem to whisper from the edge of human comprehension. Tonight we explore one such enigma, an intersection of science, speculation, and the profound unknown. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and stay with us, because what you're about to hear could change the way you look at the universe itself. It began with a paper written by Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, a man known for his bold curiosity and willingness to question what others fear to consider. His latest study drew a remarkable connection between two of the most perplexing astronomical mysteries ever recorded, the famous WOW signal of 1977 and the interstellar object known as Three Eyes Oumuamua. Loeb's calculations suggested that these two phenomena, separated by decades in discovery, might share something far deeper than coincidence. By analyzing coordinates, distances, and timing, he noticed a haunting alignment that seemed too precise to ignore. On August 15, 1977, astronomers at Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope detected a powerful narrowband radio signal. It appeared suddenly, rising sharply in strength before fading after precisely 72 seconds, the exact duration the telescope could track one point in the sky. The frequency hovered near the hydrogen line, a range long theorized to be the most logical channel for extraterrestrial communication. When astronomer Jerry Eamon circled the numbers and scribbled a single word, wow, in the margin of the printout, he unknowingly branded one of the greatest mysteries in the search for intelligent life. The coordinates of that mysterious signal traced back to the constellation Sagittarius, a region dense with interstellar gas and ancient galactic structures. For decades, explanations came and went, natural emissions, comets, magnetars, but none could perfectly account for the wow signal's precision, its intensity, or its eerie singularity. Then came the study of Three Eye, an interstellar visitor unlike anything humanity had seen before. Loeb's calculations revealed something extraordinary. Just three days before the wow signal was detected, the object 3 pi was positioned only a few degrees away from the signal's origin point. At that moment, it was roughly 600 astronomical units from Earth, about three light days away. In cosmic terms, the timing was uncanny. The odds of such alignment occurring by random chance were estimated at less than 1%. It was as if this mysterious traveler had whispered across the void, and Earth had listened if only for a fleeting moment, if the wow signal truly came from 3i, the implications are staggering. The estimated transmitter power needed to produce such a signal would range between half a gigawatt and two gigawatts, comparable to the output of a nuclear power plant. Enormous energy, yet within the realm of possibility for an advanced civilization. Even more curious, the frequency of the wow signal, 1420 megahertz, was slightly blue shifted by about 10 kilometers per second, almost identical to 3i's velocity as it approached the sun. The numbers fit too neatly to dismiss. No telescope has yet been able to gather direct data from 3i, but that may soon change. Between the 1st and 7th of October, 2025, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, along with the European Space Agency's Mars Express and ExoMars orbiters, will train their instruments on this object as it passes within 29 million kilometers. Later that same year, ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer will observe it again. These missions could finally reveal whether 3 pi emits any artificial radio signals or if it carries some other signature that challenges our understanding of what an interstellar object can be. The possibility that 3 i is not a natural fragment but something engineered changes everything. Could it be a probe, a messenger, or even an artifact adrift between stars? Humanity has never faced such a question before. If confirmed, we would be forced to consider how to respond. Avi Loeb has even proposed a framework, a ranking system to classify interstellar visitors based on their potential risk or opportunity. A harmless curiosity might require only observation, but a high-ranking encounter could mean something entirely different, a visitor standing at our cosmic doorstep. In such a moment, humanity would need to decide how to act. Should we send a message back, broadcasting radio or laser signals across the dark sea of space? Or should we send interceptors to meet 3i to photograph its surface or even attempt a landing? Whatever the choice, 
it would have to be made carefully and collectively. We may be the observers today, but one misstep could turn us into the observed. The alignment between the WOW signal and 3I has also led some to warn of a black swan event, an unpredictable occurrence with consequences beyond imagination. An object like 3I may appear harmless like a comet, yet conceal something far beyond human understanding. Could it be a vessel, a probe, a seed of intelligence scattered through the stars? Humanity must be ready to recognize the signs, because sometimes history does not announce itself. It arrives silently draped in mystery. For half a century, the wow signal stood alone, a whisper from the void. Now with the connection to 3i, it may no longer be a question of if we received a message, but when we will understand it. The sky has always watched us as much as we have watched it, and perhaps long ago, something out there reached across the emptiness just to see if we would notice. Yet, the cosmos offers not just riddles, but glimpses of beauty that seem to carry secrets of their own. Recently, an astrophotographer captured an image within the Orion Nebula, an immense cloud of gas and dust where new stars are born. The photograph revealed towering luminous pillars stretching toward the heavens, so breathtaking that many began to call it the real-life vision of heaven. The image spread rapidly across social media, captivating astronomers and dreamers alike. Some claimed the pillars were simply the result of radiation sculpting the nebula gas, while others whispered that it might be something far more. Among the flood of images came another, stranger one. A massive cylinder-shaped object appeared near the same region of space, a structure so vast and defined that it seemed to defy natural explanation. The amateur astronomer who captured it reported that the object vanished shortly after being photographed. Some dismissed it as a camera glitch or an illusion. Others suggested it could be an artificial construct, perhaps a megastructure left behind by a civilization that had long since moved on. Cylindrical craft have appeared throughout history, reported by countless witnesses on Earth. Smooth metallic shapes moving silently across the skies, sometimes hovering, sometimes accelerating beyond known limits. They appear, vanish, and leave only questions behind. Could there be a link between these earthly sightings and the strange cylindrical object captured near Orion? If such objects can traverse our atmosphere undetected, perhaps they can cross the void between stars just as easily. Scientists continue to analyze these reports with skepticism and rigor, but there remain cases that defy every conventional explanation. Some researchers suggest they could be reconnaissance devices, probes gathering data across worlds. Others whisper of interdimensional phenomena or technologies so advanced they appear as magic to us. Each theory deepens the mystery, reminding us that our understanding of the universe is still painfully incomplete. Even respected physicists like Michio Kaku have joined the discussion, suggesting that within this century, humanity may finally make contact with intelligent life beyond Earth. He warns that while such contact could redefine civilization, it might also remind us of our own fragility. Kaku categorizes civilizations into three types, those capable of harnessing planetary energy, stellar energy, and galactic energy. Humanity, he says, is still at level zero, barely learning to control its own planet. To encounter a civilization, even a few steps ahead could be like an ant discovering fire. 